Welcome to The Advocates, I'm Sonia Bagdaddy. Arachnophobics aren't going to like our lead story. Giant so-called flying spiders are making their way across the country. Joros are sailing and hitchhiking to places they shouldn't be. Could they be coming to your yard? Environmental editor and meteorologist Michael Smith joins us now with more. That's right, Sonia. These spiders, they're originally from East Asia, and global trade likely brought them to the U.S., and they're getting a lot of attention. What do you need to know? We have all the facts as we advocate for Earth. This spider, the Joro, is stopping people in their tracks. You're an arachnophobe. These things are the stuff of your nightmares. They're big, they're colorful, they're scary looking. One female can fill my palm if she's fully grown. It's something out of like Indiana Jones. These things are huge, like three or four feet wide webs. Sometimes they can be clustered together with multiple females with a giant 10 foot wide web filled with spiders. And so it looks terrifying. Researchers say the spiders hitchhike to America. Juro spiders are a non-native uh, orb-weaving spider that is here in the U.S. now that is originally from East Asia. Our best guess is that they arrived on some kind of a shipping container because if you look at where they were first found, it was near interstates in between Atlanta and Athens, which is a pretty good corridor for shipping. And if you look at where they're spotted ever since then, you often see lots of sightings around interstates as well. So these things are really good at hitching rides, or it could have been that one of their egg cases was deposited on a container somewhere in Japan, which was then moved or shipped to the U.S., and they've been spreading in the state of Georgia where they first arrived. They've been here for 10 years now and they've been spreading ever since. So right now they occupy a pretty good chunk of the Southern US, states of Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, the Carolinas, and they've been spreading further North also as well. And the Joro flies. It's one of many arachnids that balloon. Young spiders release their silk and use it like a kite to catch the wind and move through the air. It travels, you know, a few miles and then the spiders land and then make their own little web and then take up their own little territory. This clever arachnid has already been spotted traveling north. Now we're seeing sightings even in the Baltimore area, which is way further than they really should have been. And there's been other sightings in, in far-flung states as well. We know now from a, like a plethora of various pieces of evidence that this spider will definitely spread in this country as far and wide, even into Canada as well. So it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And the colder weather doesn't seem to bother them. These Juro spiders will be able to live almost anywhere in the U.S. because they're suited for this kind of climate. The Juro spiders' egg cases have evolved to survive the winter, even if it freezes. Climate change is probably not a factor here. Their normal rate of spread is something like 10 miles per year. Despite the Joro's incredible ability to survive, fly, and adapt to their surroundings, experts say they aren't out to get you. I've never been bitten. I've handled many of these spiders, but I've been told it's, it feels like a bee sting. But keep in mind that any spider, any given native garden spider will bite you if you pick it up with your fingers and handle it vigorously because it wants to get away from you. The same thing will happen with these Juro spiders. They have venom just like any other spider does, but they use that venom for subduing their prey in their web. They're shy spiders, they're not gonna hurt you, but that sort of sense of arachnophobia is, is one of the things that sort of has been keeping this story in the news because everyone is terrified of these spiders coming to their state. It's a hard sell to, kill, to tell people not to be afraid. They never go inside, they'll never go into your home. There, there's no records of, of these things in a, in a person's house. They're almost always outside. They will never leave their web. And so if you have a Juro spider web on your back porch, it will never ever jump off that web and come flying at you, right? That's just not in their nature. And even though they aren't supposed to be in the US, they may have at least one benefit. They'll catch whatever they can find if that flies into, into their web. Some of their most common food items are mosquitoes and flies. And so some people have even said that, you know, if you have some Juro spider webs in your backyard, that's almost like free pest control. Experts say their best advice, get used to having Joros as permanent residents. There is no stopping them at this point. They are here to stay. There are millions of them in this country now. We can't close the barn door after the horses have been let out. We humans kind of need to learn to live with them. So what should you do if one of these spiders shows up at your house? Do nothing. 
um, unless it's like it made a web on your walkway and you have to go through it. And then you can, you know, move the spider to a different spot in your yard. If you do kill that spider or the other spiders that you see in your yard, you'll just have to do it again the next year and the next year and the next year. There's no real need. There's no fear of these things hurting you or your pets. So I've been telling people to do nothing.